Hello everyone, my name is Ephraim Feely and I'm an Irish composer that works primarily in the field of liturgical music and choral music. And I'd like to take this opportunity just to tell you a little bit about a new Mass setting that I was um, writing over the summer. This is the Mass of St. Gerard Magella. And St. Gerard Magella was an Italian saint um, and he is the patron saint of um, a happy childbirth. He's also the patron saint of children and of mothers too. So how did this mass setting come to be? Well, in April, um, the world was grappling with COVID-19, still is, I suppose. Um, and in April, a, an organist and choir director, Trevor Clark, from Dundalk in Ireland, asked would I be interested in, in being commissioned to write a mass for his choir and his community up there. Um, so it's a redemptorist church in Dundalk in Ireland and the um, St. Gerard Magella is a redemptorist saint and it's a very busy church it's a church with a very very big musical foundation um, choirs, cantors, brass, organ, nice organ um, and every October there's a novena to St. Gerard Magella in the church it's a nine day novena and each day there are around 9,000 people at it so I wonder what it'll be like this coming year but anyway um, this is the way that the, the church has had it for a number of years and it's very so it, it's a very busy church and um, very big, big musical tradition as I said and this is the this is the background really to the writing of mass so Trevor asked if I would be interested in writing mass for his choir and community um, and so I had plenty of free time as many people did over the summer um, and so I spent the next three months or so writing um, writing for this for the, the, this community and um, as with all the other mass settings that I've written, it gives plenty of choice for community. So it, even though the instrumentation is for two trumpets, uh, cor, uh, not cor only, um, two trumpets, uh, alto saxophone, which is an interesting one, um, organ and four-part choir and counter, presider's parts, assembly, um, it actually should work quite well because for, for smaller forces, for say small choirs, um, for probably just country and congregation should work quite well because every move every movement has quite a lyrical catch um, going through it so uh, it should work well for smaller groups um, as I said as with every other um, mass setting that I've written there's also the flexibility within it so there are three settings of the penitential act the, um, there's the Lenten gospel acclamation there's the gospel acclamation for ordinary time the Easter of course there's the Gloria I decided to set the general intercessions. Uh, I like the idea of singing, or at least um, saying the general intercessions with a choral or a community singing the response. I like that idea. It's not done very often, but it, it, it's very, very effective. Um, then, of course, the Holy Holy, three Eucharistic acclamations, uh, memorial acclamations, the Amen and the Lamb of God as well. So it's available from Cherry Brook Music, the Mass of St. Gerard Magellan, lovely, uh, lovely picture on the front. Um, a lot of our images of St. Gerard Magellan tend to be 19th century, almost Victorian, um, and I wanted something modern. It's a modern setting, it's probably, it might be the only setting, uh, only Mass setting dedicated to this saint. I wanted something fresh, and I found an image from a church in uh, the Netherlands, and it's a Dutch artist called Giselle van Watershoot and so on. The church very kindly gave me permission to use this image. It's a really, really striking image. And a strong image as well. So it's available. The mass setting is available from Cherry Brook Music and Sheet Music Plus. So I hope you like it. Over the next little while we'll be doing um we'll be doing little tutorials in um in the various movements to teach the parts because at the moment it's now September 2020 and at the moment choirs can't really meet um, or they can meet in very small groups. So to assist choir, the choirs right around the world perhaps, but uh, certainly the choirs in Dundalk in learning this, we'll be doing a few little tutorials where we'll go through the, the choral parts and going through the um, each of the movements. So tune in. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.